Hello and welcome to Minislove Academy. So today we are diving into how Python can simplify your work as a cybersecurity enthusiast or professional. So in this video, I will go to three different examples just to show you how you can automate some of the common tasks that are used within the area of cybersecurity. So why Python? So Python is the go-to language for cybersecurity basically due to three reasons. It's very easy to use, so it has a very simple syntax, so it's easy for you to quickly script something uh, that you need for a given task. It has a lot of powerful libraries, so for example, Scraby, uh, InMap is integrated into it, and a lot of other security-related libraries that you can use for, for example, networking and other things like that. And then there is a huge community support within the area of cybersecurity towards Python as a language. So let's get into it. So first off, we have a simple tool that can help you scan a file for malicious indicators. This example here is of course quite simple and nobody will probably write a malware hack or exploit in the file, but you get the idea that you can actually uh, take some keywords that you know uh, to look out for and then quickly scan a file that you get in order to see whether that file contains that or not. It could also be a code file where you know that you will be looking for some particular words that could be malicious if executed on your machine and then again you can quickly scan through that. It doesn't have to be uh, a text file, it can easily be uh, a Python code file for, file for example. So instead of having to open all the files manually looking for it, you can quickly scan through uh, all your files looking for all these indicators in all of the files. Second off, we have uh, network uh, automation uh, using Python. So here we are do just doing a, a quick ping scan. And again, it's a very simple script, but it illustrates how file can get with just a few lines of Python. So here we have a list of hosts, and what we're doing is basically just to send a quick ping request to each of these IPs just to see whether they are online, meaning that we can reach them within the network from our particular machine or whether they are offline. And again, you can imagine if you uh, have a very large network and you have a lot of IPs that you want to check, then this is a quick way to quickly scan for all of these instead of having to manually go into the terminal and do the ping request yourself. This can of course also be used towards uh, websites or anything uh, outside of your network as well to see whether that can be reached from your particular uh, machine and network. Last off, we have scraping of public information. So this is typically used within uh, cybersecurity when you are working with OS and so open source intelligence. This is where you use, for example, Python to make quick scripts to just collect a lot of public information, so open source information about a particular target. It could be, for example, that you are hired as a pen tester and you need to check out for example, if a particular site contains some particular words, it could be to check what ports are open on a particular server. All these indicators that can be scraped and used as information later on when you need to assess whether there is a vulnerability or a way to actually attack this particular uh, target. So using this as an example, we will, it will quickly scan uh, a given web page to find all the links on that particular web page. Of course, that is, of, is a very basic example, but you could imagine that, for example, you are scanning for uh, subdomains, you can scan for hidden folders, you can also scan for uh, email accounts such that you know who to uh, send uh, phishing mails to if you are, again, hired as one to test this particular uh, person or company for whether or not they could be attacked if this was a real life scenario. So again, remember that compared to the two other scripts, of course, the one where you try to ping host can also be a little, a bit uh, shady, but especially this one, you should not start to just probe a lot of uh, companies just to see how much information you can get. You need to be very aware of whether you have actually permission to do so. But within the open source, uh, area, of course, a lot of the information that you will be able to get would be more or less the same information that will be present for your computer if you just navigate, for example, to a web page. But here you are targeting what information you want to collect and want to display. Whereas when you enter a given domain on your uh, browser, a lot of the information you will never actually see that unless you go into developer mode in Chrome, for example, and start to analyze that. But here you will each time just get the information that you want. 
So this was just a quick video and three quick ways of how to automate uh, tasks using Python within the area of cybersecurity. I hope you liked the video. Remember to like and subscribe, and then I will see you next time here on Winchlove Academy.